2014, DJ history was made when DJ Pro AI integrated with a streaming service, which was Spotify. Unfortunately, we can no longer use Spotify with DJ software, but there are some amazing streaming services that are still integrated, and let's learn about them right now. All right, to get to our streaming services in DJ Pro AI, we're gonna press the music select button up here. And then there is a drop down menu here, which is our sources. We have my collection, which is your playlist inside of the app. And then below that, we have our, our streaming services. We have Tidal, SoundCloud, and Beatport. I would highly recommend using Tidal streaming. It is the closest to Spotify. And then you could also DJ with music videos, which is awesome. And I believe it's the future of DJing. So stay tuned till the end of the video where I show you that. So I am going to be teaching you guys how to use Tidal, but you could follow along if you use SoundCloud or Beatport. And one little pro tip I would give you is once you decide which streaming service you're gonna use, press this edit button and then get rid of the ones that you're not gonna use. You don't have the membership, you're never gonna use it. When you're DJing, you don't wanna be overwhelmed or confused. So now, anytime I open up this dropdown, I just have my collection, Tidal, and then my files so there's nothing to confuse me click on title this is what we are going to see this is the integrated version of title inside of the dj pro ai app the first section that you're probably going to be in is playlist now we can do a couple of things with in in this menu notice how title is selected so we're in title streaming services if we search over here for example, the Beatles, someone wants to hear the Beatles, you got a request. And then you see any song by the Beatles, any music video by the Beatles, you get any song that you could search for. But if we do the same search, if we do the same search when we're in my collections, it'll only show the songs that you manually put into your playlist. So it could be really confusing. That happened to me in my first paid gig. I got a request and I was in my collections and I was searching and I didn't know what was wrong. And it was really frustrating. It's as simple as that. If you're in the title streaming service, then it's gonna search the whole internet, the whole database of title. So just keep that in mind. We could create playlists right from this, this section. We can make a playlist right there with that with that plus button. And then we have our favorited tracks, we have favorited videos, and then our playlist. These are our playlists inside of Tidal. So it's different than the playlist in my collections. And then if you're wondering about Spotify, you could transfer your Spotify playlist into Tidal and then load it up into the app by using Soundzilla or Tune My Music or any one of those softwares. I'll leave a link down below so you can do that. And then next is Explore. This is for music discovery. So this is a feature within the Tidal app. You got genres, top 20 staff picks. I'm not going to get too much into it. If you go to dance, if you go to all of these, it's not like if you go to in Spotify and you search Deep House or Pop Music, you'll get all these user-created playlists. That is one of the things that's better with Spotify than Tidal. I'm going to skip over music videos. We'll talk about that in a little bit. And then we have Match. This is an AI feature. You press match and it is going to give us songs that match with the current song. So I wouldn't really know what would go with the Beatles. So this would help me a lot in this situation because it gives me Led Zeppelin, The Rolling Stones, Bob Dylan, stuff like that. It's based on the genre, based on the year of the song, based on BPM, and it works really great. If you're if you need help on the fly during a gig or if you're building your own playlist and you added a song and you want to find out what songs will go good, Match is an amazing feature. Also, when a song comes on, you could favorite it. And then you could go to your favorited tracks and then load it into a deck. Another thing that I want you to keep in mind is when you search for a song, you could press these three dots over here, add it to a playlist. Now, with the new update, we could add it to our My Collections playlist, or we could add it to playlist right inside Tidal. So you could actually edit the playlists that are inside Tidal through the DJ Pro AI app. It makes it a lot easier. You don't have to go in and out, and it really helps a lot. And then history over here, that's pretty self-explanatory. It's going to show you what songs that you played. And then 
music and then videos. So now when you search a song, not only is the song going to come up, but the videos are going to come up. And then when you load up a video, it's going to say video track detected. Would you like to load up this track into video mode? If you press OK and you have your your iPad connected to a projector or a TV, which you could watch one of my videos on how to do, then the song is going to be loaded up. Then you will see the music video and the audience will see the whole music video. It's really cool and I believe that that is the future of DJing. But you could also DJ regular, see everything else in classic mode or pro mode while it's being projected on a projector or a TV. Or a TV, it's a really cool feature. One thing that you can't do when you're DJing with streaming services is record. So if we press record, while a song from a streaming service is loaded up, start a new recording, we get this message. So you cannot record through the app while you're using a streaming service. There's ways around it, but you can't record a track or a video within the app while a streaming service is on. And then look, if we eject it, no song from a streaming service, we go over here and we go to record. It'll let us record. So it's a licensing thing. And then also while we're talking about licensing, check with your local requirements. If you're doing paid gig, paid gigs using streaming services, it might be a little bit of a gray area within if you're allowed to do that or not. And as of now in my country, which is the US, it does allow me to use narrow mix while I'm DJing with songs from streaming services. I saw on some of the Facebook groups that in some countries or in some places, or maybe it's select users, but some of them were getting a message saying that you cannot use Nero Mix while using a song from a streaming service because of licensing issues. So test that out on your own and see if that works. Because if, if you're like me and you DJ only with songs from streaming services, then you basically can't use then you basically can't use Nero Mix. So that's a little bit upsetting, but for now, where I am, Nero Mix is 100% working with songs from streaming services. So if you're trying to decide which streaming service to use, I would definitely recommend Tidal so that you could DJ with music videos. I believe that DJing with music videos is definitely the future of DJing. So check out this video over here where I show you guys how to DJ with music videos. Thank you.